All right, today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Henry lever action rifle. This particular one is chambered for the 22 rounds. Before we do anything, we're gonna to wanna to check safe the gun. We're gonna come down here. This is your outer magazine tube. It has a little button on the end. Just give it a little turn, just like that. Pull it straight out. It has a nice little orange follower on the end. Lift your gun up, let gravity do its job. As you can see, no rounds have come out. Now this particular gun, if you're using 22 LR, you can get 15 rounds inside the tube. If you're using uh, 22 long, you can get 17. And if you have some 22 short kicking around that you want to fire off, you can get 21 of those in here. Now there's two ways you can load it. You can just pull your inner magazine tube out just to clear this little loading port. You can put them in here, drop them down. Or what I like to do is I just take the tube right out, hold my gun upside down like this and just drop them in. It's a lot quicker. Just keeping in mind the orientation. You know, you wanna make sure that your primer end is uh, down and your projectile is on the upper side. Okay, so like I said, that being said, no bullets have come out. To get the rest of this cover off, the first thing we need to do is move our stock. There's one stock screw here. We can pop that out. Again, it's a slotted screw. Make sure your screwdriver fits it fairly tight. You don't want it coming out of the screw head and uh, scratching up the paint on this. Uh, the paint looks like it could scratch up quite easily. That screw out, give it a little jiggle. There's our stock. Now at this point in time, we want to get our receiver cover off. There's four screws, again, slot screws, two on each side. They have a little crush washer under them, so be mindful of that. Now as I'm taking these off, I'll say a little apology for that snoring in the background you might hear. That'd be my little Boston Terrier Luna. She's having herself a little siesta, which she likes to do most of the day, most every day. And being a smushy-faced dog, yeah, she snores like that. Gotta love her. She's a little cutie. Okay, we'll take out these other two screws on the other side. Yeah, she is snoring up a storm today. Okay. So I got the four screws out with the little crush washers. Let's set those aside. Now at this point, you can simply cycle your action by pulling your lever down and the receiver cover will pop up and the bolt will pop out a little bit, just like that. Okay, simply pull all this back. Now at this point in time, you can take a look down inside your chamber, your feed path, down inside your carrier, Move it around a little bit. This gun is definitely free of ammunition. There's no bullets in here and it's safe to work on. Okay, we'll set this aside. So we have our receiver cover off and inside there is our bolt. Simply push it back towards the tang. Just like this. And your bolt comes straight out. Now on, there's not too much to the bolt. It's a standard one, you know. You have your uh, extractor on this side and your ejector over on the other side. So I'll put that all aside. Now you can uh, pop out some of these pins and take the rest of this apart. I haven't had a, haven't had a need to do that in the, the time that I've owned this firearm. Um, you know, I always have a, a theory, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That being said, on the other end here, I'll go you, show you how to take off your front sight and your forestock. Um, again, you don't really need to for basic cleaning. That being said, I'll show you how to do it anyway. On your front sight here, you have the hood. It's a nice shrouded hood over there. You can just push it forward a little bit like that. And that will reveal a slot screw down in there. 
So we'll go ahead and take that out. Okay, once that's sufficiently loosened off, on the bottom of the front plate here, there's another screw that's got to come off. Once those two screws are backed off and loosened, your front sight will simply slide off like this. When we come back up here, we have one barrel band. Again, another little slot screw there. Go ahead and pop that off. The barrel band screw is quite long. I can just slide the band off. And that's why we took off the front sight. If you leave it on, this band will not come off. And with your four stock, it simply pulls out. And we're good to go. Well, that's pretty much the bare bones of your Henry. Has a half cock safety. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this guy back together. Take our four stock, slide it up and back. Grab our barrel band. Slide it on, turn it over, grab our screw. Tighten it down. Good enough. We'll grab our front sight, slide it over our barrel and our magazine outer tube. Now keeping in mind, in the top of the barrel, there is a little screw hole. We gotta line that up. The screw hole in the top of our front sight there. See, now what you can do is you just drop your screw in there, move your sight forward and back, and the screw will start to set into the hole there for it. Makes it quite easy. Tighten that up. We'll go ahead and slide the hood back. So it's nicely shrouded over our bead. Just like that. Come down to the bottom, put our other little screw in there, tighten that one up. Now again, this whole front sight removal and the, the four stock it's not really necessary unless you want to do a real deep clean or just see how your firearm comes apart. It's pretty simple to do, but uh, most likely unnecessary. Okay, now back to the back end. 
I've seen a lot of videos where people will try and put the bolt and the receiver cover all in in one piece and you see them struggle with it the video cuts and then it's mysteriously all in place here's the easiest way that i found simply cock the hammer down take your bolt now you see this little uh cut out part there that's where the top of the lever is going to sit so just drop your bolt on there right on top of the lever Pull your lever back to its home position till the bolt is firmly in and your extractor and your ejector are inside the end of the barrel. You can decock your hammer just to make sure it's all lined up. Your bolt is now in the proper place. No guessing. Pull your hammer back down. Make sure your bolt is forward. Grab your receiver cover. Start it on the back. Simply, while pushing down, slide it forward. Decock your hammer. There you go. Super easy. When I first got this gun, I had a really hard time trying to install the bolt and the cover. I was watching videos, and like I said, most people try to uh, show you a way where you put your bolt up inside the cover and try and install the two together and I mean I got it to work a couple of times but it was a royal pain it was never consistent the way I just showed you there it's always simple it's always consistent easy to do okay we'll just tighten up the two receiver cover screws on this side keeping in mind again you want to make sure those little Crush washers are in there. It helps them uh, not back off when you're firing the firearm. Okay, we'll go and snug these two guys up on this side. Grab our stock. First time I put it back together, I thought that's the way it went on. It looked kind of proper. Then I realized, no, it only goes on this way. This little part that's notched out goes up towards the top of the receiver cover. Slide it in. Grab your stock screw. Get it going. Tighten it down. Okay, now we can come down here and grab our inner magazine tube, put it in, bring it down to there, lock it in place, there we go, field strip and reassembly, the Henry 22 lever action rifle, we'll give a little function test, works good, trigger works good. Half cock safety, functioning. There we go. I enjoy this little rifle. It's fun for plinking. I call it my cowboy gun, probably because of the lever action. It was uh, one of the first firearms I purchased after I got my uh, PAL license here in Canada. Uh, for those American friends, PAL stands for possession and uh, possession and possession and acquisition license. All I know is I got it. I'm allowed to buy firearms. That being said, please abide by all state, provincial, and federal rules and laws pertaining to the storage and safe transportation of firearms. Always wear your hearing protection and your eye protection while shooting. Have fun. Be safe.